Hi everyone, Supervin47 here, and wow, I've not played this game in a long time. Welcome back to Age of Wushu. Um, I haven't played this game, honestly, since November, and when I went, decided to go back, oh, bleh, start from the top. So, let's address the elephant in the room continuity issues. Um, for those of you who followed my, pri my previous four videos, my character's name was actually Shaolin Hu, uh, which means uh, Little Fox. Um, when I turned the game back on, words are not working with me today. When I turned the game back on, it turns out my character had been deleted for some reason. So I had to remake this new one to start from scratch. Uh, don't worry, I tried to keep him as similar as possible, but some abilities I just simply forgot where to get. Like uh, the flying ability that caused me to dart forward, I don't have that. But in return, I ha but in exchange, I have all these new martial art abilities, and I finally figured out how to learn how to play chess. So in the previous video, way back in November, holy crap, was it really that long? Um, in the previous video, way back in November, I was stuck. I had no idea how to play, but. I figured out what to do. So obviously you learn from Chen Chi Yi here how to play chess and then you talk to Sha Chi, her apprentice, several times who sends you on a couple of quests. And one of those main one of the major quests is to beat someone in chess. So I spent a good half an hour right clicking on this guy because it says Wei Chi playing old man. Turns out this is un incorrect. If you look closely at the board he is uh, can I yep. If you look closely at this board here, this is not Wei Qi, this is actually Xiang Qi, which would be closer to chess in Western culture. Um, you guys can look it up, what that is. Uh, I, I could honestly talk on for hours about this game because I grew up playing it. And hang on, let's see if this is actually possible here. Um, he has the elephant here, and the elephant can only is going to attack that elephant, so and there's the chariot and the pawn and the chair and oh wow this is actually physically possible uh this would never happen in a real game but physically possible anyway yeah so for as you guys may or may not remember i wanted to join the scholars guild and in order to join the scholars guild you have to be well versed in art literature uh, chess playing or music and I chose chess playing because I'm a chess player in real life um, But I've honestly never played Wei Chi before So I was stuck wandering around the map until I decided to look on the forums and it turns out In here oh, I'm sorry in here collection materials. There's actually a chess player toggle so I clicked on that and I went to um I think I went to Mo Mo Si Yun. I think it's basically you go to the different chess players, and what they do is that in instead of playing an actual game, what they present to you are puzzles, puzzles that you have to figure out either by already knowing the answer from reading a book. Excuse me, sir. Either by already knowing the answer from reading a manual in the game, or by um just figuring it out. Now, I don't want to show all the players that are here right now, so I'm not I'm hesitant to press F9. But anyway. So what I did is I just went around to different uh, Wei Chi players because I have never played Wei Chi in real life ever. Um, I know how it's played, I know the objective of it, but it's it, it's just a simply like it's so subtle in its in the way you play it that I could it took me so long to beat this one guy. So, yeah, that was an issue. What, where, where is this guy taking me? Where are you taking me, autopathing? I'm suddenly very lost. What? Hey, hang on, hang on. Oh. Oh, okay. Wait, what? Alright. So. Wei Chi is played 
on these um, on the vertices on the crosses here on the vertices I believe they're called and the objective is to encapsulate all these pieces within your own now um, hmm, okay so connect and die connect and die means make the opponent disconnected and die okay obviously enough this technique takes advantage of the breakpoints and tight Wei Qi of the opponent. So I play black, he plays white. Um, I think I want to go here. Oh, start. So you get two chances to get to guess it correctly, unless you already know this um, this situation. So I think connect and die means I want to go here, and then he goes here, then I go here. Wrong way. Uh, I go here. Damn it. See, I told you, I never played way cheap before. But, damned if you can't, like, power through this. Start. Go here. Here. Wrong way. But. Oh my god, which way, which way, which way? Here. But. It's okay. The game is simple enough that you can just hammer through it. But, God forbid you try this on an actual person, they will kick your ass. Um, disconnect. Wrong way. Oh my god, what do I do, what do I do, what do I do? Disconnect. I want to disconnect my opponent from his or her pieces. So I will go here. Damn it. Oh, I'm doing this. I'm doing this. Okay, go. I don't care how many tries this is going to take me, I'm going to do it. Here. Damn it, wrong way. Oh, uh, here. Damn it. There are only two kinds of pieces in the game. How can this be so hard? Here? No. Where do I go? There are only so many ways I can... Mm. I know it's so uh, simple. Damn it! I know you guys who probably there are probably some guys out there that have been playing Wei Chi all their lives, and it's just like driving them out of their damn mind that I can't solve this simple problem. This simple problem. Well, I am sorry. Oh my God! Where disconnect the opponent from his or her pieces? Damn it! Why is this so hard? The first one I played was easy. Here. God, I wish I was a supercomputer. I could just mash through all the various iterations. Oh god, so it's none of those? Are you kidding me? So I can't go here, 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 here. Um, what about here? Nope. Here? Nope. This game, this game is hard. This game is so hard. It's so annoying. Can't go here. Okay, so none of those three. I'm doing this. I, you know what? I'm going to beat this guy. It's a matter of principle now. It's a matter of principle at this point. Nope. Okay, so none of those places. How the hell do I disconnect someone? Take advantage of breakpoints. What what is breakpoints? What is the breakpoint? Oh come on. Channel Mace Windu. Channel Mace Windu. Obscure Star Wars reference for those who don't get it. Mmm. Mmm. Here. No. Here. But You know what? I will... I will fast forward until I get this. God damn it. Fast forward, go! No. <gasps> oh my god! Ah! What? Whatever. Whatever. Okay. 
So, I just beat that guy by making a random ass move. Okay, sure, why not? So now, I've beaten the Weichi player. So what you do is you run back to the apprentice. He, you say, like, hey, I've beaten someone. And he says, okay, yeah, cool. So you beat someone. That's great. So, moving on, right? And he gives you the title, Novice Weichi Player. Which takes you back to... What the? Skin painting scholar? What do you do? I'm just a scholar and never involved in the junk. Um, snail games, uh, you still need to work a little bit on your uh, editing for the translations. This is... it's a little bit rough. A little bit rough. You know, gotta get the editors in there to see. And never involved in... Jonghu literally means uh, martial world. No, actually... <sighs> Jonghu literally means... It's broken up into two words, Jiang and Hu. And it literally means a uh, lake and river, I believe. But it's supposed to mean the martial world. So you would normally put a the in front of that. But I, again, I can talk to you hours and hours on, on this topic. So... I know how to play chess. Let me into your school. <gasps> yes, I am now a scholar, finally! Oh, okay. So, after three crashes and a reboot, I've finally been able to go to school. <sighs> this game. And you know what? The one time. I turned off fraps to log on to the game just because I was rendering the audio. It decided to load. But I'm okay. I'm okay with that. It doesn't make me want to jump off this cliff and just end it. I'm okay. I'm good. We're here. We're gonna enjoy it. Patrolling Disciple, how are you today? Unfathomable. Who are you? Tell me your name. My name is I'm gonna kick your ass. So scholar's, sco sh bleh, scholar's Sword Guard. Welcome, by the way, to the Scholar's School. Lovely, serene, flowers, oh, the flowers. What do, we, what do I think I'm doing? I'm about to kick your ass. You cannot attack this target, but I can run into them like a douchebag. Excuse you, yeah, damn right, excuse you. The amount of crap I had to go through to get here. Shit. Four months and going. Chang Chun Ch Chang Chun Garden. Cool. And I just saw someone hop by. Um. Actually, one of the reasons I he one of the reasons I hesitate to hit the F9 button because is because that is also the Fraps record button, as well as the reveal all players button. And you know what? Let's just change that real quick. Uh, interface options, um, key bindings, key bindings, hmm, ah, oh, button settings, here we go, um, F9, I would change F9 to like, I don't know, view, other, here we go, hide other players, uh, I'll change it to that. Or it's like P P P I uh, apparently I cannot change the key bindings. Okay, so another thing beta is still beta, even though there are only twenty days left on the beta. So yeah, you can't re rebind your keys, apparently. I don't know. Let's talk with the scholars guy and wait, but there we go. So it can't rebind keys, but beta is still beta and they still have a good 20 days left, so that's okay. Talk with this. Wait, the scholar's guide was all the way out here? Where? Oh. Oh. Our hall leader asked me to welcome all the Wulin people, otherwise known as fighters, in the world here. What can I do for you? Um. I would be honored. Do what? Come on, guys. I know there's some things that just don't translate over from 
Chinese to English. And yes, I'm saying Chinese because I can't just say Mandarin or Canto. So I'll say, I would be honored. I want to join. As shall be ching.